welcome back to Mondays with Michael. This Monday's theme is time, specifically quality time. I was having a conversation with an agent in one of my businesses last week, and he said, Michael, I love KW, love you, love what you teach when you come by the office. I just don't see you enough. And that got me to my conversation with my coach last Thursday morning at 7.30. Yes, my coaching called my coach at 7.30 a.m., because that's the only time I have available in my week to do that. And, and then I said, you know, how do I do this? How, how do I get more time in the day? And I think you and I both know, we all have 24 hours a day with 60 minutes in, in, in each hour we're with 60 seconds in each minute. So there's only so much time in the day. So she says, it's not a question of time. We all have the same amount of time. And Gary Keller says this too. We all have the same amount of time. How is it that some of us use our time so differently and get so much more out of it? So she got me thinking more purposefully with time. And the first thing she said was, break out, break out your time. We all have daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annual. Break out the different segments of time you have. And then break your entire world into people. Who are the most important people in your world? Ask yourself that question. Who's the most important person and people in your world? Most of us will say the most important relationships we have are family. So first, take your time with your spouse, your children. Every Sunday, look at your week and ask yourself, what time am I going to put aside for my spouse and my children to make sure we get the most amount of benefit out of the time we spend? And secondly, you've got your, your, your key business people. You know, it, most people have three to five people in this category. For me, I've got my team leaders, my OP partner, my, my uh, director of operations, to name a few. What are the time I'm spending with those key people in my business? And specifically, what am I hoping to accomplish with the time that I have? It's a question to ask yourself. What am I hoping to accomplish with the time that I have with this person? And then from there, you've got different levels. So again, in my world, I've got OPs, which are franchise owners. And, and I've got the top agents and ALC members in all the businesses I operate. So what time do I put aside for those people? So again, this is, this is daily, this is weekly, this is monthly slash quarterly. It allowed me to take my schedule and break it out into manageable, manageable chunks of time. So that way here, what time am I spending in each of the market centers? What am I teaching? What group am I meeting with? Who am I networking with? So all these things allows me to take out my calendar for the day, the week, and the month. Break it down into segments of people and segments of time to make sure I'm affecting the life and impacting the most amount of people in a given day. Because again, that's my goal with time. How many people can I touch in a day? And what kind of impact can I have on their world and their lives? And if I manage my time better, I'll be able to have a greater impact on a greater number of people. So again, I would say take a look at your day, week, month, put a time aside every Sunday night and make sure you're purposely planning the time in your week to make sure you have time for your family, your key business people, and set a time, decide time for everyone else that expects a little bit of that. Thank you very much for being here. See you next week at the same time.